Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And we're going to talk about the new addition, Mr. Dewan Harris here. New running back, 5'7", 205 pounds, that's a compact guy. I mean, he's taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> I look, there's just one guy in the locker room I can look down at. Yeah, isn't that something? Um, so, this is kind of an interesting play. The Packers mm -hmm. generally talk a lot about them being a zone team, yeah. and zone blocking team, and this is clearly the opposite, which is a power, yeah. you know, man on man kind of, although there's a little bit of zone concept with guys going into the secondary uh, next level. But anyway, um, why don't you get it started and show what happens over on this side and how that all works with well, what happens Well, in your here. film study, you know, if you're in Detroit, you don't have any film on hair, so you're thinking, what are they thinking here? You're really thinking about pass because you got a smaller guy back there, and these power plays, you know, you would think that would be Ryan Grant, Alex Green. Right. But I think for the most part, uh, here's a one big deal right here because you got 85 over here. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking if you're a safety, I may have to give my corner some help. Right. And then you got 18 in the slot. You know, and you're thinking, well, Randall Cobb did kind of a, like a belly, what we call a belly back, like it was going to be a screen. Right. And they had already previously run a screen with James Jones, the blocker. But they didn't do that. They ran what we call the power play here. Evan Dijic Smith, he pulled, and he got started blocks back. Right. But the, the the beautiful part about this, Barkley did a great job. They did like a sort of a double team here. Mm -hmm. He came off and went and got this guy. And Evan Dijic Smith came in and, and walled his linebacker off. You know, Rodgers did a great, you know, handoff here, and it was off to the races. And this safety time, he got a little tied up over here. Right. Oh, you only need one step. Right. And it was a touchdown. But these blocks have to be perfect. And Averill, of course, ran up the field. Right. And, and um, Crabtree, Crabtree just walled him off. But if you can get these blocks in there like that, and you get a guy to pull in the wall off, it's a perfect play. And then Newhouse just cuts this guy out so no pursuit can come over. Right. But, again, I wouldn't think the Packers would run this particular power play with a guy of this side. You I wouldn't think, Randy, think Ryan so. Ryan Grant would be there. But there was such a big hole. And it, it's very reminiscent of when Amon Green was with yeah, the Packers, oh yeah. and yeah. this would have been Mike Wall. Yeah. And he used to pull here. You know, the tight end used to um, seal off here. Right. And you just follow that big guard right in there. And that, that yeah. was a heck of a block on DeAndre Levy that – Dietrich. I mean, he cut him right at the knees and made him fall right on his face. And they also can do another version off here the way you don't even block the end. Crabtree bypasses and wall this guy off, and Rodgers would what we call the ride in the side. He'll put the ball in Harris or the running back's stomach. Uh -huh. If the end comes down, he'll pull it, and then Rodgers will run up here. Or if the guy goes up the field, then you'll hand it off, and it's still a big play. So if you're a defensive end or an offside linebacker, you got a lot to think about right. on these running things. And I'm going to tell you something, the Chicago Bears have not been stopping the run very much you know, the last three or four weeks. They haven't been doing very well. So if you're the Packers, you can run these particular power plays on the Bears. Yeah, and without Brian Urlacher, you know, who's a guy who can – you know right. he can outrun some of these blocks. Yeah. He can. He can. He's so fast that you yeah. Know, one quick you can't point get to him. Yeah. Detroit ran these wide nines. Right. These guys are real wide. I had the defensive ends. Chicago won't be as wide, but it's the same front, a four-three front. Yeah. So you're the Green Bay Packers. You know you wouldn't be such a have to change a whole lot of blocking scheme this particular. Right. Way. But it might not be as effective if because having these guys wide gives you some really nice gaps. Yes, yeah, right it does. It does. It does. Okay. Yeah. And when we come back, we're going to look at how the Bears use Brandon Marshall. Okay, one guy the, the Packers are going to have to really spend a lot of time um, studying and, and working on shutting down, and they did it in the first game, is yep. Brandon Marshall. So not only is he a um, big, tall guy who can you know, out-jump, out-reach, um, he also sets things up for other people, too, yes. just like any good player does, just like a Calvin Johnson would do. So this is a set we saw um, with the Bears, uh, call that three by one, three mm -hmm. receivers on this side. This happens to be a tight end. Yep. And then one receiver over here. Right. So why don't you show what exactly happens I think on this play. The first time the Bears and the Packers played, this was um, Brandon Marsh was out by himself. It was easy to double him. Yeah. They put him inside. Yeah. That's hard to double him, but he still gets the attention. 
Right. Now, for the Packers, you know, this is Antoine Winfield. This is the uh, secondary of uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Now, we were just talking about this. That could be Woodson or it could be, you know, Casey Hayward mm -hmm. inside. Because but, Tremont Williams usually doesn't go doesn't inside. Go in it's there. just not no. that type of player. Right, he'll just stay outside. But what happens is he'll, he came up and ran across, and he commanded a lot of attention there. He even got the safety to just hold just for a second. And the linebacker was pretty deep. And it seemed like they were playing some kind of cover four with quarters. But this corner was very, very, very passive. But Jay Cutler did a wonderful job of looking these safeties off because he actually looked to this side, and that brought the defense over. And he knows he has one-on-one -on -one backside because you can see the safeties, they kind of, kind of flow towards Brandon Marshall. And Afron Jeffers came up right here. He made a beautiful throw and for a TD. Now, that's what the Bears are going to try to do. They're going to isolate 31, 37, 29. It doesn't matter. They want to get all the attention here. Then you can see, you know, they'll try to get man to man. Now, if the Packers are in a nickel, which they normally, I think they will be, uh, Tom. Pretty much the whole game. They're going to bring Brandon Marshall in motion. Sorry for my pen. Bring him in motion and bring him back just to see if a guy follows him to let Jay Keller know, oh, they're either two men, one high or two high safeties. I kind of know what's going on. Now I still got my backside. I got a 6 five receiver, Manuel with a shorter corner. Mm -hmm. But what the Packers can do, they can always roll the coverage to both sides and double 15 on the inside. Now what that does, that hurts you with – for a take can go on this option route, right? And that can hurt you. If and so, when you say roll coverage, you mean bringing this safety a little bit over and then rolling this guy to the top? Yep, they can roll him either way okay. and stop. They can say, "Look, we're going to roll everything to Brandon Marshall, or we're going to double Brandon Marshall and roll everything to 17." I find Jeffries. Everybody else is true man to man. Right now, you got you know you got 59 and 50 man to man on 22, or you could put Woodson on uh, Forte, and you feel good about that as well. Right. It's a lot of moving parts, especially when you, you got people rushing. Now, I will say this. All this stuff takes a long time. Yeah. That's why Matthews loves that. Yeah. It'll give him time to take a secondary move on this awful offensive line and get some sacks. Yeah, and I think you make a great point about um, that in that first game, Marshall and Jeffrey were just yep. outside just the whole outside. time. And so yeah. it was so easy to double. They just put a safety here. It's really easy to there. roll with. But when you put him at the third receiver inside, yeah. it's hard to roll to a guy that's in there. Yeah. You can double him, but it's hard to roll well, that side. Yeah, you could devote. Like, you could devote this safety and this linebacker, yep, which is exactly that. what the Vikings did. Yep. You know, but they you, you leave some openings there. Yes, you know? yes. And, and you got to pick your poison with that. But, again, if this is Sam Shields, you don't worry about the speed, just the height difference. You know, Jay Cutler's seen a lot of these coverages, but you can't confuse them like they did the first time. Roll the coverage, double take away, you know, because he's going to throw it to Brandon Marsh regardless. Right, right. And he is going to throw that. it. Yeah. If you go back and look at the last X and the O's, you saw he had three guys on him. He still threw the ball. Yeah. So. Yep, yep, exactly. So we'll see how that pans out. And it's always kind of interesting the second time yep. around when it That's team true. plays on. That's true. You can follow me on Twitter at Leap36 and Facebook as well at Leap36. And we'll be back next week. See you then.